Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Try New Things where today we're going to tackle another restoration. Now hopefully this one doesn't take as long as the mid-century modern fireplace that we wrapped up. Uh, that one took me forever, mostly due to my own procrastination. But here's another project behind me I want to get done. This is a 1950s General Electric refrigerator uh, that I picked up at auction, I don't know, maybe a year ago. And we've had this in use out in our garage at the house ever since. And before I put it in the kitchen here at the barn, I told myself, you're not going to do that until you finish restoring it. So let me grab the camera, show you what we're working with. All right, here's the 1950s General Electric refrigerator. Doesn't look too bad on the camera. And uh, on the front, it's not all that bad. It needs a really good cleaning. That's going to be the first thing we're going to do. But there are some, uh, some rust issues on the sides. If I come over to the other side here, and here's, here's one dent I want to get fixed up. But over on this side, uh, actually you can't see because of the reflection of the light, but a little bit more corrosion, a little bit more rust, not too bad, and probably two or three dents on this side that I want to fill in. Now, my goal for this is to completely refinish the outside and repaint it. Got the paint already and the primer. I just need to prep it and uh, do a little Bondo work, a little bit of sanding, and get ready for paint. Now earlier, when we picked it up, I did start the interior because I knew we were going to use it. So the inside's all done except for the door to the freezer. I'm going to paint that at the same time, but otherwise the inside is complete. So that's the good news, and it works really well. So this shouldn't be a bad project. Now I say that, and I've been wrong before, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to tackle. Restoration of a 1950s General Electric little refrigerator. So now we've got the uh, the door off and pretty much cleaned up. It's time to start bondoing in some of the scratches and the dents on this. It's not as bad as the side, so I think it's a good place to start. So that's what we're going to do next. A little bit of bondo work. So yesterday we wrapped up the uh, fridge door ready for primer and today we're going to start on the fridge. Get it all cleaned up and bondoed and ready for primer as well. All right, welcome back. We've got the Bondo on the fridge all done. You can see here on the side, we've patched up the, uh, the dents that are in the fridge and uh, in the sanding, you can see we've got some high spots. That's why we've gone through the original paint. Now we started to tape it off, getting ready for primer. And over on this side, uh, we just had issues there at the bottom. Now similarly on the door, I've got it taped off, ready to put some paper on it, and then we'll flip it back over in time for primer. So that's the next step, get the paper on, get the, uh, the garage prep for paint, and that'll be our next step. Stay tuned, primer is next. And here it is, Speedo Line Primer Gray. It's a two-part primer, four-to-one mix. I used it on the mid-century modern fireplace restoration and uh, was pretty pleased with the results. And so far, I'm pleased with the results on the refrigerator as well. The same can't be said for my tape, which keeps coming unstuck. So I'm going to stop and see if I can get some better masking tape tomorrow morning before I 
move on to the next couple coats because I see it starting to peel off in places. But yeah, we've got the uh, refrigerator with two coats, the door with two coats, the associated parts over there, or the trim with two coats, and it's not going to show up on the camera. But on this side of the fridge, there's a couple little barely indentations. I don't know if I can get the light right. No, you're not going to be able to see them. But I think I'll probably end up uh, touching those up with Bondo. Well, my plan is to sand this off and uh, get it ready for the next two coats. So I'll check back in with you all once I'm completed with that. And we're at the end of our primer phase and moving on to our paint phase. So hang in there. Lots left to do on this 1950s General Electric refrigerator. In the last clip I told you that with the primer I could see a couple more imperfections I wanted to fix up. So don't know if you can see it now. There's a couple spots there where I've added some Bondo. I've got to come back and sand that. But otherwise, the first two coats of primer are on. And we've got it sanded to 1500. And uh, once I get that Bondo addressed, then uh, we'll go ahead and put another coat, sand to 1500, put another coat, and sand it to 2500. And then we'll start with the final paint color. Also had to come back and retape and repaper. I used painter's tape that you would use on your wall when you're painting in your house and it kept losing its adhesion so I stopped off at AutoZone and uh, picked up some automotive masking tape and they had some different varieties and I went with maximum adhesion and it seems to be doing a much better job. So we're going to skip ahead until we're finished with the primer and uh, the next clip will be painting the fridge. All right, welcome to what will hopefully be a fairly transformative portion of the video. Today, after four coats of primer, uh, it's wet sanded, 800, 1000, 1250, and then 2500 uh, between each coat, it is now time to see what the uh, final color is going to look like on the refrigerator. And hopefully that's going to make a big difference to this 1950s General Electric. I'm going to take a few seconds and show you what I picked out for paint. Is it the right paint, the best paint? I don't know. I'm not a professional, but it looks like it'll do the trick. So let me show you what I'm going to try out. All right, here it is. From Rust-Oleum, Appliance Epoxy Ultra Hard Enamel Paint. And I went with gloss white. The original color of the refrigerator was white, and it'll probably... Uh, match well with the oven that we have there in the little kitchenette here at the uh, TNT farm. So that's what we're going to try. So I'm going to get the air compressor fired up, the paint gun dug up, and we'll get started putting the first coat of the final color on this refrigerator. So last night we uh, finished with the white paint, uh, the appliance enamel, but still too tacky this morning to do a, a, a wet sand on. So that's going to be the next step, but I'm going to save you watching that again and uh, we'll move right on to clear coat next, but I'm getting excited. We're getting close to being able to move this into the kitchen. Hang tight, more to come. All right, very exciting day, hopefully. This is the day we put the final layers or coats on the GE refrigerator. And I'm using clear diamond finish, tough and durable, and uh, non-yellowing. So hopefully this will provide years of protection for the refrigerator, uh, for the paint. But let's go ahead and get this on. And uh, once I'm completed, then I'll check back in with you guys and show you how it looks. Hello there everyone. What do you say we wrap up this refrigerator? So my intent was to use an electric buffer as the final step on the refrigerator. Uh, I think I'm changing my mind. I'm going to do it by hand. So I'm going to clean it by hand with a little bit of uh, vehicle polish and then we're going to move it into, uh, into the kitchen here, plug it in and be done with it. So hang in there. 
Next step is polishing, and then we're going to uh, reveal it in its final resting place. Well, home, not resting place. Stay tuned. So that brings the restoration of this 1950s General Electric refrigerator to a close. Now we didn't do a full restoration, it was functional when we got it, but we made it look a heck of a lot better and hopefully this is inspiring someone out there to try the same thing. I really like reusing things versus buying new where we can and uh, this is a good example of it. So if you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until the next video, bye-bye.